So you produce this fantastic video and now you want to do a snazzy thumbnail that involves a picture of yourself or, or an object and you want to remove the background. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that quickly in Photoshop. Let's go. Okay, so we're in uh, Adobe Photoshop and all you need to do is drag and drop your photo into Photoshop and it will appear. And I'm going to be using this photograph of an incredibly handsome chap. Okay, and I'm going to just cut out the outline. So press P for the pen tool or choose the, the menu from the left hand side. So we've got our pen tool and just start in one corner near the border and then you go along using the pen tool and just roughly trace the outline. You don't need to be super exact on this because by the time you've got it into the, the thumbnail, it all looks pretty good. So I'll quickly speed this up and see you again in two seconds. So now we've joined all the dots together. The next thing to do is press Command Enter or Control Enter, and you'll see it, the outline changes to a, a moving dotted line. Okay, so now go to the Layers panel on the right hand side and click, make sure that the layer where the photograph is is highlighted, and then just click on Add Mask down here at the bottom. Magically, the background has disappeared. So now all you need to do is press V on the keyboard to go back to the Move tool and then highlight the photograph that you've cut out, press Copy. And now if you're creating a YouTube thumbnail, you then want to create a new document and the dimensions will be 1920 width over 1080 height. Click on Create and now you just paste Command V or Control V, and there we are. That's quite large, isn't it? So I'll just reduce the size of that for the moment so we can see the, the box here. And by pressing Alt, we can reduce that and then just move it over to where we want it. So you can enlarge that or decrease the size as necessary and move it around. And then all you need to do is create the background, which will be a layer behind this photograph. and put in a bit of text. Now the last step you could do just to make the photograph pop from its background is to give the image a nice border. And I'll show you how to do this right now. So I'm just going to, using Command Plus or Control Plus, just increase the, the image. Now over in back into the Layers panel, just highlight the layer of the image, which here is Layer 2, and then go down to the bottom menu and click on FX, and then just click on Blending Options. And then a min menu will appear. Now what we want to add is a drop shadow and outer glow. So first of all, we'll do the outer glow. We'll just highlight that and it will give us the options here. Now this outer glow is going to be white, 100% opacity, zero noise, and then we can go and increase the size now you can see, if we just increase that all the way, you can see the size of that. So you just want it about that sort of size for this diagram. If you change the spread, it, it kind of feathers the edge slightly, but we're going to leave that at 100. And then we're going to add a drop shadow and highlight that by clicking on it. And we'll leave all the settings. And all we need to do is just change the size. And you'll see it start to appear on the side, side of the outer glow that we've just produced. Now this has got a sort of feathered, shadowy sort of appearance, which I quite like. It's, it makes the picture stand out. And so you could leave this as it is, just highlight everything, copy and paste it into your uh, template for the thumbnail. And that's it, and that should give you a nice effect if you put a, a brightly colored background behind that and some words you'll be on your way to creating a great thumbnail that catches people's eyes. So I hope that shows you a quick and easy way to cut out a background in Photoshop 
and add a nice little border to highlight that object and create a fantastic thumbnail for your YouTube videos. If there's any other videos or any other instructional videos you want me to, to do on using either Premiere Pro, Illustrator or Photoshop, then let me know in the comments below. And one last thing, remember to subscribe if you like this video and click or hit that notification bell so you get notified the next time I produce a video. And that's it for now. Always a pleasure, never a chore. Bye for now.